Okay, welcome to another land navigation video. Now then, you're in the great outdoors and you're lost. You don't know where you are. Um, as far as I'm concerned, um, you are not lost. You just temporarily don't know where you are. Um, and I'll show you a technique you can use. Uh, as long as you've got a map and a compass, you can find out exactly where you are you can find out your position and it's a technique called resection and it's very easy uh, but what you need to do you need to identify actually on the ground two at least two landmarks and you've got to, to find them on the map um, and once you've done that the technique is pretty straightforward and in for this demonstration um, the landmarks that I can see from my position, the corner of the compass there, I can see that church there, and I can see that church there. I can see actually see them, and I found them on the map. So if I look slightly to my right, I can see this church here, and if I look slightly on my left, I can see this church here. So I know I'm somewhere here somewhere in that area exactly where i am in that area i don't know at the moment so get the map out get the compass out first thing you need to do is get your compass and got the direction of travel arrow point that at the first landmark feature which is that church there you point it at that then you turn the compass housing until the red magnetic needle is over the red orienting arrow in the compass housing or the red magnetic needle is pointed to north on the compass housing obviously it's not going to be the bearing i'm going to explain here because it's just a demonstration then you look at the index line and for this demonstration that bearing is 44 okay so you write that down 44 and then for my second landmark which is that church there. Do exactly the same again. Point compass, direction of travel arrow at that landmark. And again, turn compass housing until the red magnetic needle is over the red arrow of the orienting arrow or just pointing to north. And again, you read the index line, the bearing. And in this case, it's 336. Okay, so what you need to do now is take, say, the first landmark that I looked at and the, the uh, magnetic bearing was 44. So you just dial in 44 on the index line of your compass, 44. And then what you do is you place the edge of the compass on the first landmark and then you just make a few adjustments, keeping the edge of the compass, my first landmark. You may not see that, I'll zoom in a bit later on so you can see it. But, and then you just make a few slight adjustments, and you, like so. And you just make sure that the orienting lines of the compass housing are parallel with the eastings, which is the lines going up and down the map. They're parallel with them. And the orienting arrow, the red arrow, is pointing to the top of the map. And once you've got that set, you hold that position, you get a pencil and you draw a line. Okay, now you or I am somewhere on that line. That is my position, I'm somewhere on that line. So what you need to do now is your second landmark which is 336 that's your compass bearing now you don't have to mess about with the magnetic variations the magnetic variation in the uk is so low that you don't need to adjust for it so it's 33 336 that's 330 that's 336 and you do exactly the same again place the edge of the compass over that church and just make a few adjustments so that the 
orienting lines in the compass housing are parallel with the east stings, which is the lines that go up and down the map and across the map. And the orienting arrow is pointing to the top of the map. Get a pencil, draw another line. And that's it. Where them two lines intersect, that is my position. I'll just uh, zoom in for you. As you can see, it's my one of my features, it's that church. That's the second church. And where those two lines intersect, that is my position. I am actually on that track or road between these two junctions. That is actually is exactly where I am. So that's it. That's how to find your position using a map and compass. And it's a technique called resection.